Hey guys, so I mentioned in a plan with previous plan with me that I was going to start a new series on my channel called like behind the scenes. Uh, this week we are showing how I pre-plan. I'm doing a voiceover because my camera mic hates me and it's just too staticky. So the second video is going to be showing how I actually film my plan with me's and then the third one is going to be how I edit them and create my thumbnail. So this one's going to be just pre-planning, how I organize my stickers for it, how I pick a kit, all that stuff. What I use for it is these highlighters that I got from Target a while back, and then I have my Inkjoy gel pen, and then I have some sticky notes that I really like to use to kind of just keep track of random things for that week, and then I have this giant pad thing that I actually got from Target um, in their one spot section, and I absolutely love it. So I usually just stick the sticky note either on top of this or place it in my actual planner. It kind of just depends on my mood really for that week. And then I usually open up my planner to the week that I'm planning and then fill out the dates on the this week's sheet. And I actually kind of mess it up because I put 418 twice, uh, but you know, that's okay. So I fill out the dates for the entire week and then I go through and put W for my work schedule for the entire week as well. And I try to keep everything kind of in similar lines for each day so that it's easier to keep track of everything. So now I'm just adding my actual work schedule for every day. And then I pull up my sticky note and look at what I have. So I might be dog sitting, so I wrote that down. I do have my credit card bill due this week, so I went ahead and wrote that down as well. Uh, just so I don't forget, and I actually put down a different day than what I wrote on there because I like to pay things early, because I'm weird. And then I write down a event for the gaming community that I'm part of. And zoomed you guys in a bit, and then on Mondays we have my plan with me video, so I write all of my videos for that week, and then the pre-planned video you're watching now, and then Instagram, I write down for Monday and Wednesday as well, and then here we are writing new videos for th Tuesday and Thursday for my main channel, and then we're putting laundry down, and I kind of just go over a mental checklist of everything. So Mondays I usually film videos, Friday I film my plan with me, um, and then we're gonna, I thought we were gonna do grocery shopping Thursday, but I decided to write it down on Monday instead for this week. And then I kind of just figure out what else I need to do. I decide to make Thursday a big cleaning day, and then I need to wash my bedding as well, so I wanted to write that just so I didn't forget. And then trash goes out Wednesday, and recycling goes out Tuesday. And then we have my Planning Rose's Happy Mail, which should be here either Thursday or Friday, but I wrote it on Friday, because that's generally when it gets here it just kind of depends and then for the weekend i'm writing voiceover for my videos and then i need to edit videos and then i'm writing pre-plan for thursday as well because that's usually when i do that and then i'm pulling up the app called tv showtime and this is how i keep track of all my tv shows for the week uh, it makes it so much easier to keep track of what you have watched and what you haven't watched so for tuesday we have i zombie and shield so i just fill that out on the sheet and then on Thursday we have Superstore. And what I also like about this app is you can see pretty much future dated stuff. It won't zoom in, unfortunately, because my camera hates me. But I can pretty much see that like Game of Thrones is in 92 days, which I cannot wait for that. Uh, but I really like that app if you're looking for a way to track your TV shows. And then I use the highlighters to kind of color code everything because I think it's easier to visualize it and just kind of see it, I guess, with the visual color coding system. So I did work schedule in blue, and then I forgot that I didn't write my practices down for my competitive gaming team that I'm on. And I usually mark that in purple because that is the same color as our logo, and to me that makes sense. And then I do anything money related, like paydays or credit cards or bills or whatever in green. And then anything video related in regards to YouTube is marked in pink. So editing videos or my plan with me or anything like that is marked down. And then I do orange for Instagram, so I mark both of those. And then I grab yellow and mark the TV shows, which unfortunately you can't really see very well, I'm sorry. And then I do kind of just a general color for everything else, like grocery shopping, laundry, cleaning, and everything. So I chose this kind of like purpley pink color, I guess is what you would call it, I'm not really sure. And then I just put those aside and then tear out the this week sheet and I, I usually just put it right in my planner either with some washi tape or just set it in there and then I'll use my sticky notes to also write down extra stuff if there's like a grocery shopping list or a list of just general things that I need to do um, in terms of like what I want to film. So now I go through my stickers and I figure out what I need. So first I need these stickers that I made myself and I put them in my little filing folder which is labeled Monday through the weekend. 
So I just pull up my sheet and go through each day and just figure out what stickers I need. And then I pull out my stack of planting roses and figure out what stickers I want to use and just set them aside. And I do this for every single day and for every single uh, sticker label, I guess, or for each shop, I guess would be the appropriate word for it. And then whatever I don't use, I just put back in there. I decided to add some Starbucks to it and then found some other stickers that I wanted to get. And then I just put those back in the little sheet and put these on the days that I want to use them. Um, and then that way when I go and fill my plan with me, I can pull them out for Monday or Wednesday or whatever the day that it is. And I find it just keeps things very organized and a lot easier to just get what I need for that specific day. Um, maybe I'm crazy, but I find the system that works really well. At least it has so far for me. So then now we're going to Dizzy Daisy Dreams, which is one of my favorite icon shops. So I'm just going through once again, grabbing every single sticker that I need, like some filming stickers and some happy mail stickers and camera stickers and kind of, and some cleaning day stickers and really just anything that I typically use every week from our shop is generally what I end up grabbing. And then once again, we're putting these all in the days. I'm sorry that you can't really see the folder too well. And then we're grabbing some Glam Planner. Um, I just ended up grabbing just one sheet from her, I believe, because there really wasn't too much more that I wanted to use that week, which sometimes that happens. I end up buying stickers that I don't really use as much as I thought I would, but eventually I will use them. So, you know, I like having things on hand just in case. And then I add that to the sheet, and then now we're going into Thumbprints Co. And I'm always using her coffee laptop and alarm clock stickers as well as the Target sticker, so I grab all those, plus the grocery store one. And then I'm trying to figure out if there's another sticker that I wanted. Realized I didn't need it, decided to put it back. And so I just put the ones I don't need once again up, and then putting them back in here. I think you kind of guys kind of get the gist of what I'm doing here, but I kind of wanted to show the entire process, even though it's literally the exact same thing repeatedly. Just because, I don't know, I think it kind of gives you guys a more clear idea of what I do when I pre-plan, I guess. Um, and then that's Coffee Monsters Co. that I'm going through right now. And then we're going to get into Kina Prints. And at first I do start to go through her sheets and then I decide that I'm going to hold off because I want to try and do an entire spread um, the following week just using Kina Prints character stickers. Like, not as the actual spread, but as the like icons and stuff. And then I flip through the end and I grab a trash sheet from the planner junkie and go through to see if there's anything else that I wanted. Realize there isn't, put those back. And then I have kind of a multi-sheet list where there's just a bunch of different shops in one uh, like little folder thing to see if there's anything that I wanted there as well. And then I have some odd loop ones, but I didn't need any of those. And then I just set that aside and put the rest of the stickers in there. I have some random flags one at the end in case I need those for a spread, and that is what it looks like, and then I just close that and we're good to go. Then I grab my planner, and then I go to my other folder, which has all of my kits in them, is where I store them, and I just kind of, first I flip through my previous weeks to see what I want to use, so I noticed I kind of used a couple of flowery spreads in the last couple of weeks. Um, and so I didn't want to use another flowery type kit. So then I go through the sticker binder to figure out what I want to use. I have everything front facing so I can see them. So I flip through everything, kind of figure out what I want to use. I decide to use this Glam Planner March Mystery Kit because it it's not really florally and I just thought it would fit really well. And I go through one more time to figure out if there's a kit that I would rather use just in case because you never know. Um, flip through everything. And I'm kind of like, eh, okay. I think that this one will be just fine. And I flip through the kit that I picked as well to see if it has everything that I want to use. Like if it has a build due sticker or a payday sticker or just anything like that. So if I need to grab extras, I can. And then I just flip through it, make sure everything is there. Make sure it has the headers that I need. And then add it to the end of my little like folder thing. And I put that all together, and then that is exactly how I pre-plan. It's pretty easy. It does take me sometimes 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how much stuff I have to write down. 
but it's really not that big of a deal. And here I'm showing some washi tape that I got at Target for a dollar, and I'll just kind of secure that sheet in there with some washi tape. I didn't do it this time because I was literally filming my plan with me right after this, but it does come in handy to have something like that just in your thing for the week and then you can write on the sticky note if you have any additional notes you want to give yourself or you can just write on the sheet itself but thank you guys so much for watching this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i put out new planner videos every week next week we will have a video hopefully on how i film my plan with me and the equipment that i use um if not next week maybe the week after that since i'm dog sitting this weekend so i'm not sure if i'll be able to do it but thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye